planning a trip to New Zealand and even looking to live and work here, then working out the cost of life in New Zealand is essential for planning your budget and making your dream a reality. So how expensive is New Zealand in 2018? We'll take a look at that and much more coming right up in this video. the team behind backpackerguide.nz helping you plan an epic trip to New Zealand. In today's video we're going to look at how expensive is New Zealand in 2018. To answer that question we have put together this video of typical cost you're likely to encounter in New Zealand. That way you can compare the cost of life in New Zealand to that of your home country. And don't worry we have added some quick exchange rate in this video too. Plus at the end of this video we'll give you five ways to save money in New Zealand and stretch those dollars further. And if you're new here, take the time to hit that subscribe button right now. We release videos about New Zealand every single day and subscribing is a great way to say thank you for all our hard work. And with that, let's get on with the video. First up, what are the New Zealand dollar exchange rates in 2018? Whether New Zealand is expensive or not really depends on what country you are from. With that in mind, we've put together this quick list of exchange rates so you can compare the typical New Zealand prices with your home currency. That way you'll be able to better judge whether New Zealand is expensive. We know it's pretty easy to just search exchange rates between the New Zealand dollar and your home currency. However, just to give you a typical overview of the New Zealand dollar exchange rates in 2018, we've put together this quick list. Exchange rates typically fluctuate throughout the year, but as of 2018, the New Zealand dollar exchange rates for one New Zealand dollar are as follows. For the US, 74 cents get you one New Zealand dollars. In Europe, 60 cents gives you one New Zealand dollar. For the UK, it's 52 pence. In India, it's 48 rupees. For Australia, it's 95 cents. For Canada, it's 93 cents. And in Japan, it's 79.10 yen. And it will take 14.87 Argentinian pesos to get one New Zealand dollars. For up-to-date currency conversions for your chosen currency, check out the HiFX website which have, we have linked up in the description below. By the way, they do cheap international transfers, so it's definitely worth checking out. And now for the most important thing you need to purchase in New Zealand in order to survive, it's food! Here are the typical prices of popular food items and meals in New Zealand in 2018. No, these are typical prices for budget or value versions of these products in New Zealand supermarkets. Expect to pay more for big brands or organic foods. For your typical shopping list essential, expect to pay 120 for 1 litre of milk, 350 for a dozen eggs, 240 for around 1 kg of rice, 90 cents for 500 grams of pasta, $1 for a loaf of sliced bread, and 9 bucks for 1 kg of cheese, and $7 for 100 grams of dry freeze coffee. For fruit and vegetable prices, they differ across the country and between seasons. However, common costs for fruit and vegetables include about 4 bucks for a kg of apple, about 3 bucks for a kg of bananas, about 350 for kgs of tomato, about 350 for a kg of onion, about 4 bucks for a kg of potato, and the New Zealand meat prices in 2018 are around 8 New Zealand dollars for a kg of chicken, $10 for 1 kg of beef mince, $9 for 1 kg of pork, and around $20 for 1 kg of lamb. And finally, for New Zealand food, the restaurant prices are around 30 bucks for a main meal, $8 for a pint of beer, $4.50 for a small coffee, $5 for a fast food pizza, and exactly $4.22 for a Big Mac. For more food shopping tips for New Zealand, see the link in the description below. Next, how expensive is transport in New Zealand? New Zealand has so much to discover, so you're definitely going to want to get around. Here are the common transportation costs in New Zealand. First, let's start with what are the costs of running a car or camper van in New Zealand? A second-hand budget car costs between $1,000 to $5,000 New Zealand dollars. A self-contained second-hand budget two-berth camper van costs between $7,000 to $15,000. And a budget car rental per day costs between $20 to $100, depending on the season. Check out our video on renting a car in New Zealand for more information on that. 
Budget camper van rental per day costs between $50 to $200, again depending on the season. Petrol per litre costs $215, diesel per litre costs $141, but the road user charge, which is the diesel tax, per tax per 1,000 kilometre costs $62. And how expensive is national public transport? A four hour journey on the national bus is around $25. A domestic flight between Auckland and Christchurch is around $70 and a domestic flight between Auckland and Queenstown is usually around $100 but if you book really early you could pay about half those airfares. A train from Auckland to Wellington is around $140. And how expensive is public transport in cities? Bus travel per zone is usually around $350 and train travel per zone again is $350 and a taxi fare stat tariff is usually about $3 with another $3 per kilometre fee. Check out the article What is the best way to get around New Zealand in the description below. How expensive is accommodation in New Zealand? Another fundamental part of living or travelling in New Zealand is having somewhere to sleep. Here are the typical cost of accommodation in New Zealand. How expensive is holiday accommodation? Hostel dorm beds per night is $27 on average. A double room in a hostel, motel or holiday park per night is around $80. A camper van powered site for two people is around $40 and a department of conservation campsite per person per night is $15. A motel self-contained unit per two people per night is around $140 and a hotel double room per night is around $160. How expensive is long-term accommodation in 2018? A room to rent in a shared house per week is between $125 to $250, mostly depending on your location. Auckland be the most expensive city. And there is work for accommodation options available all around the country for about four hours of work in exchange of food and accommodation. Learn more about New Zealand accommodation via the links to backpackerguide.nz in the description below. Now, how expensive are phone networks and Wi-Fi in New Zealand? Finally, and essential for pretty much anyone is staying connected. Here are the typical network costs in 2018 as well as typical Wi-Fi costs. For New Zealand phone network, expect to pay about $20 for a plan of 200 minutes, unlimited text and 1.25 gigabytes per month. But there are about 15 plans per network operator, so just pick what suits you the best by checking out our phone network comparison linked up in the description below. For a standard pay-as-you-go rate, it's around 40 cents for a voice call per minute between New Zealand numbers, 90 cents for a voice call per minute to overseas, 20 cents per text message between New Zealand numbers, and 20 cents for a text message to overseas, and 50 cents for data usage per megabyte. And for New Zealand Wi-Fi costs, accommodation Wi-Fi per hour is either free or around $3.50 per hour. Cafe Wi-Fi is either free with a purchase or $3.50 per hour and library Wi-Fi is always free. And if you want to set up your own home unlimited broadband, that's around $75 per month. For more advice on finding Wi-Fi in New Zealand, see our How to Get New Internet and Wi-Fi in New Zealand linked up in the description below and we'll also link up more information on the New Zealand phone networks. So there you have the cost of life in New Zealand in a nutshell. However, if you want to know more about the cost of some of New Zealand's epic tourist activities, then head over to our Cost of Backpacking in New Zealand video where we list some of those prices. But before we end this video, here's five tips on saving money in New Zealand and stretching those dollars further. Number one, make your own meals. Most budget accommodations have cooking facilities, so you can make a huge saving on food by cooking your own meals. Number two, add plenty of hikes to your travel itinerary. Some of New Zealand's best scenery can be seen by doing one of the hundreds of free hike trails throughout the country. Three, find a travel buddy. Split the cost of fuel, food, and even accommodation by finding an awesome travel buddy. If you're coming to New Zealand on a solo trip, reach out to fellow travelers on the backpacking Facebook groups. We'll link up to a few in the description below. Number four, do some work for accommodation. If you have a work visa, you can get free accommodation and meals in exchange for around four hours of work, five days a week. We'll link up to some more information about that as well. And number five, get a supermarket club card. Make sure you get the cheapest prices available by having a countdown on New World Club Card. These are the two most common supermarkets that offer them in New Zealand. Ask for a tourist card in New World if you are only in New Zealand for a short while. 
So that's it for our tips on saving money and going through the cost of living in New Zealand. We hope it answered all your questions on how expensive is New Zealand. But if you do have any more questions, just stick them in the comments below and we'll be sure to be right here for you and answer them. Plus, if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more New Zealand videos just like this one. Until next time, keep exploring.